In this video, I will show you how to play Switch games with Rejinx. If you want to skip to a specific topic, then check out this timestamp. To download Rejinx, go to the first link in the description. Select the OS you use and click on download. Now go to where you have downloaded Rejinx. It should be a zip file, right click and extract it. Open the new folder. Open Rejinx.exe. When you first start you should see this error. For this we will need a prod key. In Rejinx, go to File then open Rejinx folder. Go to System folder. Here you should place your prod keys. You can get this prod key from your hack switch. If you do not have hack switch then find it somewhere else. I will copy and paste my prod key into the system folder. After you have done that, restart Rejinx. Now you can see I do not get any errors and I can see my games. To see your games go to options, then settings. In the game directory you should see it as empty. Click on the add button. Now select the folder where you have stored all your games. You can see all my games are in ROMs folder so I will select that. Now when I click on apply it should show my games. You can see all my games are in version 1. To add updates right click on a game. Then select manage title updates. Now click on add. Select your games update file. For now I will use Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You can see the update is applied. Now just press save. Now we can see Mario Kart is updated to the latest version. To add a DLC right click and select manage DLC. Click on add. Now select your DLC file. Now just press save and you can see it is working. If I open Mario Kart you will see the DLC and updates have been applied. You can see we have the DLC racers and the cars. You can even see we have the DLC tracks as well. As you can see in the gameplay, we are not in consistent 60 FPS. Once you're in the main menu, go to options then settings. If you do not want update notification every time you open Rejinx, then disable check for updates. The first time you open Rejinx, your input will be nothing like this. To fix it click on input device. You can see after selecting an input you can customize the controls. In system, make sure vSync is turned on or many games will not work. Make sure ignore missing services is turned on too. In CPU, change memory manager is set to unchecked. Go to graphics tab. Make sure backend is set to Vulkan as it is the fastest one. Make sure preferred GPU is set to your actual GPU instead of the integrated GPU. Enable texture recompression. In resolution scaling. If you only need 1080p then select native. But if you want 1440p select to X. For anti-aliasing, select none for the best performance. For scaling filter, select billionaire for normal games and nearest for pixel games. Change backend multi-threading to on. After you have done all this, restart Rejinx. After you have restarted Rejinx, in Windows, search for Graphics Setting. Now search for Rejinx, if you do not see it, then click on Browse. Now find Rejinx.exe and select it. Now click on Options and select High Performance. Now go to Desktop. Right click and select NVIDIA Control Panel. In Manage 3D Settings, go to Program Settings. 
Click on it and select Rejinx. Now follow these steps as shown for the best performance. OpenGL GPU should be your main GPU. Power management should be set to prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering quality should be set to performance. Trilinear optimization should be set to on. Threaded optimization should be set to on. Vulkan present method should be set to preferred layered on DXGI. Vertical sync should be set to use 3D setting. These are the best settings for 60 FPS in Rejinx. Now just restart Rejinx and you should see a FPS improvement. I will use Mario Kart 8 again for example. As you can see I can now play in 60 FPS. I will sometimes go to 40 FPS but that is because of shaders. Enjoy some Mario Kart gameplay. Next I will show you how to use mods in Rejinx. I will use Mario Wonder as an example. If you want to play as Among Us as shown in the video then keep watching. I will be using the Among Us mod for Mario Wonder. If you want mods for Switch games then go to the first link in the description. Go down until you see files, then click on manual download. If you do not know which file to download, then select the file that has the most amount of downloads. After the file has been installed, go to the folder. It should be a zip folder, just extract it. Now open the new folder. You should see a ROMFS folder, this is the mod. If you do not have this folder then the mod won't work. Now open Rejinx again. Right click Wonder and select manage mods click on add now select the folder that has the romfs folder since my among us folder has the romfs i will select that now just click save and run the game as you can see we got the mod working and now we can play it as among us but we can also do this in other games too. I can also download the randomizer mods for Sword and Shield in the same website. We can follow the same steps as going down to Files and selecting Manual Download. But you can see that we have to download different files for each version. Since I have Sword, I will choose the first file. If you do not know which one to download, Check the name and most number of installs. Now go to the zip and extract it. You can see that we only get the ROMFS folder inside a couple of folders. But we can still select the original folder as it will work too. Now open Rujinx. Right-click Sword and select Manage Mods. Click on Add. Select the folder you have extracted. You will see it will show up as a bunch of numbers, but the mod will still work. Now run Pokemon Sword. As you can see, 
The mods have worked and now I can see legendary Pokemon in Route 1. This mod is the only way you can encounter a legendary in Route 1 and one-shot it. If I want to get above 60 FPS, I can turn off VSync. But as you can see this only makes the game speed up. To actually get above 60 FPS, we need an app. Before using the app, go to Options, then toggle Full Screen. Now open Lossless Scaling, if you do not have it. Click on the second link in the description. Now follow these steps for it to work. Enable Performance Mode. Turn sync mode to off. For max frame latency, if you have NVIDIA put it as 1, if you have AMD put it as 3. Enable draw FPS. Make sure capture API is set to DXGI. Now click on scale and go back to game. Give lossless scaling a couple of seconds and you will see it activate. You can see in the FPS counter, I get 120 FPS but my game speed is normal. Thanks for watching this video, if this guide helped you. Please like and subscribe for more Ryujinx guides. Enjoy some Mario Kart gameplay.